AlphaStar and Siemens Digital Industries have joined forces to offer advanced polymer 3D printing build simulation for FDM and SLS technologies. The holistic approach for thermal mechanical virtual as-built part assessment allows users to start with CAD and generate a structural mesh, select a qualified temperature dependent material model, run thermal process simulation considering G-code and variable print parameters, quality assess the toolpath, and run mechanical analysis to predict effects during the print and the effective defects on part performance. Combining the powers of Siemens' complete simulation environment and AlphaStar's expertise in micromechanic material behavior allows users to now assess their as-built polymer parts prior to submitting the build job. Starting in NX modeling, a user can either import an existing CAD or design their part. Next, we'll move to pre-post to create a new FEM and simulation for SimCenter Nastran. When it comes to mesh and CAD models for AM process simulation, the recommended approach is to employ a layered mesh. Creating a layered mesh is particularly straightforward for simple geometries. However, for more complex shapes, we can leverage the voxel meshing capability in Sim Center, enabling efficient and precise meshing of complex geometries. Using the extensive mesh mating options, all conditions and parameters for the model will be set. With the mesh now generated, we move to AlphaStar's Polymer AM process simulation. Starting off with thermal modeling, the initial step is to browse and convert your G-code. This input serves a pivotal role to capture realistic thermal behavior of the build. We then generate a thermal input file that offers extensive control of both process and material settings to enable a digital environment that can reflect your real-life printer setup. In this example, we are simulating the printing of an Ultem 9085 part. Thermophysical properties such as density, specific heat, and conductivity are considered in the model. Once the analysis is submitted and executed, we visualize the results to gain valuable insight into hot and cold regions, heat entrapments, and dynamic temperature distributions. With thermal analysis completed, we move to the next phase of the workflow involving setup of the mechanical input file and geometrical assessment of the toolpath. Once all the necessary inputs are defined, such as selection of solver, additive method, material model, and the created structural mesh in pre-post, the filled part is visualized in 2D and 3D to assess air gaps and other possible defects. These defects are common in Polymer AM and due to their impact on final strength and functionality, it is important to incorporate them into the structural model. By accounting for their presence, we can obtain more precise assessments of the overall performance and characteristics of the printed parts. Having successfully completed the previous steps, we proceed to map pre-processed temperature distributions and defects into the finite element mechanical input file. We're now ready to submit an NX Nastran input file for structural analysis. Once the analysis is completed, the results can be visualized in Sim Center 3D Post. By implementing this comprehensive simulation workflow for Polymer AM and accurately predicting the characteristics of the as-built parts, users can reap numerous benefits. Firstly, it minimizes the need for trial and error approaches, reducing both time and material waste. Additionally, it streamlines the production lead time by identifying potential issues beforehand and accelerating the design cycle. Finally. The ability to assess the impact of process parameters and orientation 
for printing allows for a higher chance of achieving a successful build. Ultimately, this simulation-driven approach enables informed decisions and enhances efficiency.